Hi, Cheryl here today, and I'm here to show you how to make a chainmail cuff. I also have another bracelet like this online. It's a chainmail bracelet. It's about this wide, so you'll be able to look at look for that today too if you want to make that one. I'm going to show you how to make this on the Rainbow Loom upgraded up graded hook. So if you're wondering about my hook, that's what it is. And if you want to know how, where to find this, you can find it on rainbowloom.com. Also, there's links on my website at willowcrete.com. Right, we're going to get started. First thing you're, I'm going to do is I'm going to put seven bands on my finger. You can ask a lot about my bands. You can also find information about them on my website. There will be a link to that in the About section of my video. Alright, so I, I'm going to take the first band. I'm going to put that on my hook. And then wrap it around a second time so that it's an 8. And then I'm going to take my second band. And I'm going to pull down the middle of the 8. Turn the hook downward. And pull it through. Turn the hook upward, push it up, and put the band on the end. Take my next one, pull it through with the hook downward, turn it up, push it forward, and put it on the end. I'm going to do this so I have five of these on here. Take my next one, pull it through, notice the hook is downward, turn it up, push it forward, put it on the end, hooks down. Pull it through, push it forward, put it on, on the end. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, we're going to make this five bands wide this time. I'm not making it the full seven because um, that is really more difficult to do. I want you to get used to doing it five bands wide first. It's only a little bit shorter, as you can see, not much. Just a tiny bit. Um, once you're used to making it five bands wide, then just add two more when you chain it in the beginning, and you'll be able to get the hang of it. But um, for learning's sake, I want to show you how to do it with five. So I'm going to put five bands on my finger. And we're going to start the next row. We're going to pull the first one through the end. Hooks down. Pull through. Hooks up. Push forward. Put it on the end. Then you're going to go back through, not the first hole, but the second hole here. Push through, grab a band, pull it through, push forward, put it on the end. Next hole, push it through, grab a band, pull it through, push forward, put it on the end. Notice I'm loading these on the hook. Push it through, grab the band, pull it through, push forward, put it on the end. And we're going through the very end twisted one that we made in the beginning. Grab the band, pull it through, push forward, put it on the end. So you should have what looks like this. Everything bunched up on your hook and a little chain piece on the bottom of it. And now I'm going to put five of my yellow on my finger. And now I'm taking them off. And so I'm holding these in place. So I'm going to hook my band. I'm going to pull it down. The hook's downward. Pull it through two. Turn the hook up. Push forward. Put the band on the end. Hook's downward. Grab the next band. From now on, I'm pulling it through four. Turn my hook upward. Push forward. Put it on the end. I'm pulling down on this as I go to keep pressure on it. Grab the hook, I grab the band, pull it through with my hook going downward through four. Turn it upward, push forward, put the band on the end. Turn the hook downward, pull it through four, push the hook upward and outward, put it on the end. Pull it through with the last four, push it up and out, put it on the end. And you've got your first three rows done. <coughs> I'm going to put five more on my finger.
grab the first band, pull it through to the last two, push forward, put it on the end. Go through the next opening, grab your band, pull it through, push forward, put it on the end. Next opening, grab your band, pull it through, push forward, put it on the end. Next band, push, pull it through, push forward, put it on the end. And the last one, pull it through, push forward, put it on the end. Ready for your yellows again? I'm going too fast for you. Pause so you can catch up. Okay, at this point, they're going to start pulling it back through again. Remember, the first one, first set is always two, and the rest of them are four. So you're going to pull it through two. Make sure the hook is down when you pull it through, and then you turn it up, push forward, put the band on the end. Remember, you're pulling down on here as you're pulling it through. Now it's four every time. Remember, you can also push them over. Push forward, put it on the end. Push forward, put it on the end. And then the last four. Okay, now we're on the right again. We're going to load the hook again. Pull the band through the end two. And then all the way down the row, you're going to pull bands through. And load up your hook. Now I'm going to switch to the yellow. Remember, your rows should always be the same count or you've made a mistake. And the first two are two. Put the hook on the band on the end. And then four from there on. We're going to load up the red again. First row. And then down the row. Back to the yellow. Pull it through two for the first one. Push forward, put it on the hook. Pull through four. Push forward, put it on the hook. And repeat until you're at the end. I missed something here, so we take it back up on these. I have one too many bands on my hook, so I'm just going to back it up. So I can see where that came from. Okay. It was that one. There we go. And we're done another row. All right, I'm going to do two more rows, and then I'm going to pause and get this to the end point so where it's ready to take off and show you how to finish it off.
And so we're going to load up again, to so pull it through the end one first, and then go down the row and load up. Yes, I'm sorry, there's a dog barking in the background. He's outside, there's nothing I can do about him. Alright, now we're going to load up the yellows. Press set only goes through two. Put it on the end and the rest go through four. Okay, from here, if you need more help, just rewind and watch me go through it again. And every time you get to the point where you need to see it again, rewind and watch it again. Because the rows, everything's just going to repeat. So you can just repeat watching the video till, till you get to the point where you're ready to take it off. I'm going to um, finish this off and come back and show you how to finish the bracelet. Okay, I'm just about finished with this, so I'm going to do the last few rows on camera. It's just about big enough for my wrist. I'm on the red row. Get my bands together. I'm not going to walk you through these. I'm just going to do them <clears throat> and let you watch. An escapey band. I caught it this time though. Annie, that one was for you. I think the biggest thing when you're doing this row is just to remember that the first one is two and the rest are four. If you can get if you got that, then you're fine going through this one. Oops, and that you don't drop them like I seem to be doing lately. If you drop them, just push it back through like I just did and grab it again. Didn't get that one. Try that again. There's a lot of background noise in my neighborhood today, so I don't know that that's picking up. I'm, I'm hoping it isn't. My neighbors are all out and about and noisy today. You would think it was a Saturday. Which is nice, but not nice for my video. <laughs> Some of my videos are noisier because I was using a sound proofer, but then people were like, what is that noise? Why is it so noisy? So I stopped using it. So hopefully you don't hear the background noise. I was just trying to muffle that out. Just about there.
And I have three doggies. Thankfully, they're not, they don't end up barking in any of my videos. At least they haven't yet. Because when they start barking, everybody hears them. Excuse me, four doggies. I have a, I have two Pekingese, I have a Shih Tzu, and I have a Springer Spaniel. And I have a kitty cat, which has made an appearance in one of my videos already. I don't remember which one, though. But he jumped up on the table during one of my rubber band videos. During one of my tutorials. I'm going to do one more row, I think, or two more rows actually, and then um, I'll be ready to show you how to put this together. I say two, but it's because I can't end with this. I need to end with uh, my yellow row, which takes it off. Okay, once you have it done, you're going to put your two ends together. First you're going to take a band and pull it through these two. Put them together. And then pull it through itself. And you're going to take your, <coughs> excuse me, take your hook and put it under this end. And under this end, I'm going to load up my finger with some bands. You can take your bands one at a time. You don't have to do this. I just prefer to do it this way. Okay, you're going to grab your, I'm going to grab my first band and pull it through. And then put it on the end of the hook. Once I have it that way, I'm going to twist and pull this through both of those. I'm going to put it back through here for the next one, all the way under all four. Grab my next one and pull it through all four. Push it forward, put it on the end of the hook, twist, and pull this through both of those again. Back under the next one, under all four. Take it off the hook, pull it through, push forward. Put it on the end of the hook, twist, and pull it through again. It's going under the next set of four. Come on. There we go. Grab the band, pull it through, push forward, put it on the end of the hook, twist the hook down, pull it through both of those. And then I'm going to go through the end one. Grab the band, pull it through, push forward, put it on the end of the hook, turn it, pull it through both of those. Now here is where you can put your clip on. Doesn't matter what kind of clip you use. Let's see, I guess I'll use a yellow one. <coughs> I have a Q-clip because that's what comes with these bands. So I'm going to take my hook off and put my clip on. If you have a different kind of clip, you're just going to clip it over here to the side somewhere. Find a good place to clip it. Because I have a bigger clip, I can clip it around both sides. My clip locks into place. But it doesn't matter what kind of clip you use. Just put a clip on and clip it over to one of your little side spots. 
All right, that gives you a nice finished look on your ends. And it completely hooks it across, gives it a nice solid ending. And there you have it, a chainmail cuff. So thanks for watching the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And please check back to my other videos and stop in at my website, willowcrete.com. Thanks for watching.